Welcome to IBC 2025. This year we bring together our global media, technology and entertainment clients showcasing their groundbreaking innovations right here in Amsterdam. Well, I'm delighted I'm at the extremely busy Harmonic stand with Jean. What's the reason for all these people being here? Give us a little background to the company and, and why you stand out. So yes, yes, it's very busy. Uh, Harmonic is a video technology company. So what does that mean? That means we offer a video pipeline um, that, that serves you know, uh, streaming and broadcast workflows. So um, we try to always you know, stay um, close to our market. That's why you have so many people. And, and the way we do this is we develop that video pipeline uh, as a cloud native common software that uh, basically we can deploy either as appliances uh, on premise or we deploy that also as a SaaS in the public cloud. So um, what do we do? We do play out to encoding, to streaming, to add insertion, right? Yeah. All of that uh, is part of our appliance and SaaS solutions, but really we specialize in solutions that deliver the best video quality, the best reliability at huge scale. That's what we do and that's why you see so many people on the booth. So you, I like the way you say you stay close to your customer, you yeah. listen to your customer and you provide solutions is what it's about. Exactly, this is super important at IBC, you know, we, we want to take the pulse of the industry, know what's trending, you know, we try to anticipate, but there's nothing that beats talking to the customers. Okay, so my next question is, what is trending? I barely need to ask it, the hottest topic in town is AI. Talk yes. to us about that. So, I'll talk about AI, but if I might, you know, our, our booth, if you look over there, the big title is AI Powered Hybrid Solutions. Yeah. So what is hybrid solution? That's the first trend I want to talk about. So when you look today at the, the video workflows that traditionally used to run on premise, they can run in the cloud now. There is no technical limitations, okay? Yeah. So that means that for our customers, the, the media company, the broadcasters, they, they decide the decision to run it on premise or in the cloud, it's first a business decision, okay? But they have that option. They, they have that option, of course. And the trend that we see is a lot of them, they actually want both. Yeah. So that means they want part of the workflow to be on-premise, but they also want part of the workflow to be in the cloud. That's why we call hybrid. So okay. why do they want that hybrid option? Because they, they want that flexibility, because, because for economical reason, some component of the workflow, it makes more sense to run it on-premise. Everything that is fixed dimension, you know, your baseline, that you know is not going to grow, you don't need the elasticity, you run it on-premise. And then whatever needs the elasticity, something that touches, for instance, the people connected to a streaming service that goes up and down depending on the number of people, you want to run that in the cloud. And so for us, Harmonic, because you know, we, we have a lot of innovation for both appliances and the SaaS, you know, we feel that we are perfectly positioned to offer those uh, hybrid solutions. So that's the first part. The second part was uh, AI, of course. So that's the growing trend, you know, more and more AI in the video workflows. And so uh, we keep adding more of those AI powered capabilities. And with that, uh, we kind of do three things. We can deliver higher quality experiences. We can, you know, cut the operational cost and we can also open new monetization opportunities. Okay, so solutions on many levels. When people are coming, flocking, I should say, to your stand, what kind of conversations are you having? What are you showcasing and what, what conversations are you having with customers? Yes, so we organize uh, our solutions in multiple pods and so I'll start with uh, new features for our sports streaming solution. Yeah. So for a sports streaming solution, we offer now what we call a multi-view feature so that people can watch multiple games you know, uh, at the same time. The sports fan, they like to do that, especially when they bet. Yeah. So that's, a, that's a, an important feature. We, we also bring, it's a little technical, uh, but we bring uh, what we call synchronized geo-redundancy for low latency streaming. L mouthful, right? It yeah. means that when you do low latency, which is very important for sports streaming, you can have that seamless redundancy. That's kind of a trademark feature of Harmonic. And then the, the third thing I would mention, very important, is related to piracy. So we introduce a new sophisticated feature to fight you know, piracy 
that includes uh, forensic watermarking and geoblocking. So we try to bring you know, innovation both in terms of experience but also you know, the business aspect of uh, sports swimming. It sounds like it's all about innovation. You've got to stay ahead of the curve. Your yes. new product development teams must be working around the clock. Yes. It's a really exciting time for the industry, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. Yes, yes. So, so uh, we keep bringing new innovations. And if I might, I want to talk about the hybrid streaming workflows that we touched upon before. So for hybrid streaming, we introduce uh, what we call the new advanced central management system for hybrid streaming. So it does two things. First, it automates the movement of assets between the on-premise and the cloud. Remember that hybrid aspect? Yeah. So the central management moves asset as needed automatically. And the second thing, you have those two environments, the cloud and the on-prem, and the central management kind of hides that complexity and it presents a unified you know, system to the user so that they don't need to worry about where things are running. You know, the central management system shows a simple, easy to manage, unified system to them. Simplicity is a big yes. theme, isn't it? Sophisticated on the inside, you know, but very simple on the outside, that's the idea. <laughs> love it, love it. Sophisticated on the inside, <laughs> simple on the outside. If you had a crystal ball, where do we go from here? Can you even answer that? Uh, so, probably more AI, right? Uh, Yes, there will be definitely more AI in our workflows and video solutions. Um, we'll, keep, uh, we'll keep the flexibility of deployments you know, on-premise, uh, in the cloud, the, the hybrid. Yeah. Well, it's whichever the customer prefers, right? It's, that's, that's what the future will bring. Can I touch real quick on the, on the monetization? Of course, of course. Because that, that's an important kind of third pillar of what we show here. And so at the show for monetization, we have, we have two uh, main uh, introductions. The first is related to what we call in-stream ad units. In-stream ad, ad units are ad format that mix together the live content and the ad. Formats like double box and L-shape, okay? And so for that, what we're showing is how we use AI-powered contextual analysis, so analysis of what's happening in the live sports, to trigger the insertion of the in-stream ad units. So that's, that's, that's important because that's the real life deployment of those in-stream ad format triggered by AI. The second thing that we do is for broadcasters. So broadcasters that don't do streaming. Yeah. So that means they still use one too many uh, technology like over the air broadcast or satellite, right? So for those people, we, with VOS 360 ad, we can connect them to the programmatic advertising ecosystem. The idea is that they benefit from the efficiencies of programmatic, and also they can start tapping into the ad dollars of the digital buyers. So very important for our broadcaster uh, community. That's it. That's it. Well listen, on that note, we'll leave it. Thank you so much for your time today. Good luck with the rest of the show, and uh, Thanks for your time. Appreciate it. We'll be busy. Thank you.